up, our beautiful people? What's poppin'? We are back again, once again, every What's week up? on the week, you know, count on us. Yep. We'll be here. So, once again, we come with two subjects that we talk about. We try to get in depth with you guys about how we feel and our opinions on it. Mm -hmm. So, our first subject is, drumroll, <laughs> the importance of fashion and beauty. Mmm. Okay, so how do you feel about the <sighs> what can I say? Um you know how people make it so important for you to be in designer, be in or like jewelry. <laughs> No, but it's it's really. How do you feel about it? Do you do it for you, or you do you do it to impress people? Do you do it like? Cause some people do it to impress people. Some people do it for themselves. I do it for myself. If I'm buying anything designer, anything like that, which is very rare. But if I'm doing that, and I got the essential sweater on, what I'm saying? Damn, this is so. This is such a. I'm a hypocrite today. Fuck. You talk first, Misha. Damn. I that was a good one though. I feel, I feel. I just shut my mouth wide open. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if I had the budget for this, yes, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be like, oh, this is what it is. This is how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I think when when you got the money to live a certain lifestyle, you will live. It. And I feel that once you live that certain lifestyle, you notice that this is what people wear in that caliber. Right. This is what people do. They wear a Dior. They wear yeah. Louis. You feel mm -hmm. me? They out here with they Fendi out. You feel me? They out you said they wear Louis. Louis. Yeah, they wear Louis. Louis is <laughs> <laughs> You know, all this good stuff, Saint Laurent, all this Dior, all yeah. this stuff going on, whatever. Go it's on. just the importance that they try to put behind it. I don't know if I agree so much with that. Like, to where if you don't got it, to like they look at you a certain way if you don't got it. Like, <clears throat> um, the only example I can say is like celebrities, like they probably won't even look your way if you in regular clothing but yeah, that shouldn't it's matter really crazy though. it shouldn't matter um, it's crazy it's really because well they got the money for it you understand what i'm yeah. saying and i'm not saying that you know okay so what about it. the people in the hood that be getting that stuff wait I, that's where I, that's oh, what I'm okay well, i'm saying like we can afford it but it's like what's the well how more important is it than what you have to really handle. Like, is that a priority for you to be walking around and where dealing the projects? Okay, where your land with a motherfucking at. Louis Vuitton bag with some fucking Walmart slippers on now? Okay. Anyway, stop playing. So I feel that it's too. It's a lot of people that that they put forth mm -hmm. the fashion before they put anything else. Like because I don't care. Yeah. I will literally wear a full fledged Walmart outfit and I will walk around like that. I would too. Target you more my thing, but I I, I wear. I wear Target Walmart is too, too bougie for me. Target don't have the style. It don't to me. It don't have the caliber that. Walmart but the only carry. reason why Walmart I go. Boot yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. They do. They do. But the only reason why I prefer Target is because my my Walmart clothes don't be lasting. I I always gotta go back. So. But when I go to Target, we're not gonna do one. Hey, that's just my personal experience. I don't know about everybody else's mind. Yeah, I that's mean, what we have you to know, do. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we got all this, all these platforms that tell you what beauty should look like. You feel me? I've seen the most ugly woman in designer clothes, but I've also that seen the most up. beautiful woman. <laughs> In the most, the outfit that probably only regular or two dollars. You feel me? And she Dilla. worked that outfit. You understand what I'm saying? It. I don't care. You know, if I like it, if I could afford it, I buy it. That's yeah. just how I feel. But if I don't, if I even if I like it and I don't feel like it's worth me spending my money on it, how many times will I wear wear this outfit? Because it goes to a point where if I buy this bomb ass outfit, yeah, I will only be able to really wear it like once or twice because I'm gonna make sure it hits Facebook. I'm gonna make sure it hits Instagram. She's not lying. You feel me? And then I can no it. longer wear that outfit again because it's like I wore it already. Oh, see, that's another thing. Okay, so if you do, if you were to do that why can't you wear it again if you posted it 
That's another thing people be on. I don't know. It's like a forbidden rule. It's like an unsaid rule. Unwritten rule. Yeah, because if I see somebody in the same outfit, <laughs> like. But like, niggas, that's times, like it's not washing the dryer. I don't know. It's just that's the way they programmed us some way somehow. See, that get out of that. That's what it is. Get out of that. I shit. get. I get it because I got clothes that I wear all the time, but I steer clear of pictures. Yeah. And don't post me. You feel me? I don't know. It's just a thing. It's a thing. I don't care. Hold on, y'all. Because you know how we did our podcast last week? Mm -hmm. Like, what, four or five days prior to that, I had took a picture in the same shirt. I didn't give a fuck. I look good in it. And that was only my second time wearing it. And I didn't care. Because if I feel confident enough in what I put on, and I don't care if you see me in it or not, I got a washer and dryer at my house. So I use it. You don't? You know what? I um I applaud you for that. I really do. Because you can be I'm telling you, it takes a lot not to be taken in with this world. And I can appreciate that you still have that, like, where I'm wearing, I don't care. I don't give a fuck if you see me a hundred times. It's mine. This is what I'm wearing. This is what I like to wear. So I can appreciate you very much yeah. for that. I'm not saying y'all wear the same shit every day, but you know what I mean. And um, as y'all can see, though, we go natural. Yeah, all the time. All the time. I mean, every now and then I might spruce up the eyebrows. You figure it'll be I need it. a little eyeliner here and there. But all the foundation, nothing against nobody who wears foundation. Because some of these ladies out here be beat. They, they beat do. their face. I'm telling you, they, they be do. nice. They if, do. If I knew how to do that or if I cared to do that, yeah. I probably my husband probably wouldn't even know what I look like for yeah. real. Okay. <laughs> but um, I like the natural beauty. Yeah, natural uh, beauty. And I like all beauty. But I don't. I don't, I'm not a big believer in um, thinking that, you know, having your face beat and that's not the ideal beauty to me. To me, the ideal beauty is your confidence and how you carry yourself. Right, right. Um, to me, that's the real beauty. But, you know, some, that people, is, that feel, some people feel like they need to do that because um, some people on the inside, they not. For me, I steer clear of wearing makeup. Because I went through a phase before where I did wear makeup. And really? after I would tell, yeah, I did. I really did. And after I would take off my eyelashes and my eyeliner and all this foundation and stuff, it made me not like my natural face. I liked it what I looked like with the makeup on. Nice. And I didn't like. So, so I still clear to that. Doing it. I like to make sure that when I wake up, I woke up like this. Okay. You understand me? And I want so to be always outside. love my natural self. I don't never want to go outside feeling like I need this on my face or I don't like what I see because I normalize me looking flawless okay. when I'm not flawless. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's that's very true. I, that's very true. Yeah, I personally I do don't wear makeup because I'm just so scared. All the stuff that they be putting in there, I just don't trust it. And I feel like when people, when we really start like getting up in age, that shit's gonna start leaking through y'all pores. The people that have been I having their face I've never really beat. looked into it, but I swear I heard something yeah, about it. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oils I'm telling you. I, I don't like trust it. Pigs and sheep and stuff. I don't know. Y'all might wanna Google it. I'm gonna Google it after this video. Yeah. Yeah. People, people be like, oh, marriage is always about natural. Like, no, it's not because I don't like makeup. I don't trust what's in the makeup. And there's, there's nothing wrong with my face. I ain't got no, you know? Like, maybe, it's, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's melanin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go. It's the next subject now. Okay. So the next subject is being cool with someone um, that you're not supposed to be cool with. Like, say me and Misha. People we, that you're cool with. Pie. That's that's cool. People that you're not cool with, bro. Yeah. Say that's me and Misha up. two peas in a pot. I don't like um, Jackie. And Misha, kick, she kicks it heavy with Jackie. That's what we talking about right now. Right. So, she really don't kick it with a girl Rule named number Jackie. number one. That was the example. But, uh, so, how do you feel about it? What's your stance on it? Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Not Let at me all? tell you how I'm not the ruler of anybody's life. Yeah. So this is a thing... law. This is our personal. This is a law. No, it's not. But my but personal opinion should. is that I'm not God. 
No. I can't tell you who to be friends with, who not we to be friends with. You. I can't break you up from your family just because I'm not cool with them. All mm -hmm. I can ask is that hopefully you have enough love, enough dignity and respect Decency. for me not to speak my name foully. If you're going to bring my name up, just understand when you're talking about me to that person that you let them know that I keep it real. I don't speak of them. Don't want a problem with them. You feel me? And like I said, don't speak foul up on my name. Number one. Now that's law right there. Now that's law. Interruption number one. Hold on. Hi, handsome. Okay, so this is my stance on it, right? I feel like, you know, me personally, I wouldn't do it to my friends. Period, right? But I'm also an understanding person. I my grandma always told me to always form your own opinion. Don't ever let nobody form your opinion for you so <clears throat> if i don't like jackie and misha don't find nothing wrong with jackie i can't be mad at misha because jackie did something to me but she didn't do nothing to misha though she didn't show her no signs of nothing so i i feel that with, like what misha said like, i don't mind y'all kicking it just don't you know because normally like when it's like that Whoever the person that's not cool I with feel them, like, they're uh, the top of, of conversation. Yeah, definitely. So. People who um, eat together speak together. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And um, I feel like you will eventually become the topic. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, I would prefer... Just be respectful. People always try to play both sides of the fence. You feel me? But it's how they play it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I feel like some people always are forced to choose sides. Or some people really want to choose true. sides. Like... If you, if you, like, if somebody don't like you for some reason, but they keep you around, it's because either your, your whole aura is so real where they feel like they still need to keep a connection to you, even though they don't really fuck with you like that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. and, or it's like a thing where you're beneficial in some way or some manner to them. You feel me? Yeah. But they got this other person that they're like team them, you know, but you, you know damn well that they're not team you, but they should be because you're the real one mm -hmm. out of the whole situation. And in those type of situations, just let God handle it. He handles it every single time. You already know how I do. Oh, oh, he, you, he, God uses you. You the best. <laughs> he go through you. <laughs> I'm. I mean, I'm blessed. You know? <laughs> I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. She was out of control. She was out of control. But no, like, so what about, like, a best friend? Save your best friend that's something like that. That's not my best friend, man. Ooh. <laughs> that's not my best friend. <laughs> she must be my best associate. Period. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it real. I've been on the other side. I've been the person. That, yeah. that probably played both sides because I'm cool with somebody. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I've also had it played on me, which is probably why I knew how to handle the situation when it came apart. Because I'm not going to lie. When I, if I don't like you at that point in time, you're going to know. Either I'm not going to yeah. speak to you, but I probably won't speak foul on you. But if you yeah. say something bad about me, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to dirty Mac you the whole motherfucking time. <laughs> That's just how, that's how I get out. You feel me? You say something about me? Because that's the only thing. I can dead not like you, but I'm not going to say anything I know about you, anything I feel about you. Once you say something about me, I'm letting it be known. I'm letting, no, I'm letting yeah. it be known. That's just, that's just it. That's me. Yeah, I feel that. 100%. It always should be a respect thing because it's always going to go back to the person. No matter if you tell... If you talking about if you talking bad about the person, it's always going to go back. I don't give a fuck. That's what gossip is. People like, oh, don't say nothing. Don't tell nobody. The, the the moment you, it doesn't matter. It's a Trials. carousel. It goes around. Yeah. It's gonna come back. And then sometimes people play telephone. Sometimes the words get misconstrued. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they not misconstrued. Yeah. But everybody messes up where they don't tell the person directly. And I don't care if it, if somebody. See, that's why I fuck with pe people like Misha. Like I like people like me. Like. If it's a problem or an issue, we gonna come to each other. Yeah, right we there. Ain't there. Gonna let it. There's no need to let it linger. I like to get it done right then and there. I if time. I don't like it, I'm gonna say that I don't okay. like it, and then you either gonna be like, okay, I meant what I said, or I didn't mean nothing mm -hmm. by it, and we're gonna get it and move on. You it's gonna get me? understood though. Understood. It's gonna get understood. I ain't even gonna do that. It's gonna get understood. <laughs>
But yeah, um, yeah, that that was good. I think that we're too grown at this point. We're too grown to be going through the same stuff that we went through in middle school. Cause I, I promise you, I've been seeing stuff my whole entire life, and I'm like, we we grown now. You feel me? If I don't like you. Let it not be no beef like that. Just know that I don't need to be a friend. I don't yeah. need to be cool with you. I don't need but to I don't you. want no problems or I will not speak ill on your name, bro. Yeah. Oh, God, because I'm too grown about too it. Too solid. Like, we too solid for that. I'm not going to talk bad about you. I mean, shit. That's just what it is. Yeah. But if a nigga asks or somebody asks me a question about you and they want my honest answer, I'm still not even going to talk bad about you. I'm going to keep it real brief. And I, I'm sure if I even say anything, but if I do say something, it's gonna be real brief. And it's and even if they was to go back and tell this person, it's nothing bad to where, you know. And if that and if that person was to go back and tell this person what I said, you feel me? And they made it bad. Now I got a bone to pick with you and you. I'm gonna right. get you and him. No. <laughs> No, but like, but if you just stay solid and just don't talk bad about the person at all, you ain't got shit to worry about. Yeah, honestly. and for the people who, the people who are actually the people who are cool with both people, just let them both know, like y'all both cool people. That yeah. obviously that's why you functioning with both of them. Yeah. I would think so. Yeah, you feel me? Never really choose a side because you guys, people, they'll talk about one person to the other but won't talk about to the other person to the next you feel me and I, you know it is it is what it is but just let both parties know that you don't want to be a part of their problems yeah you you love both of them scurry over here let them and, be over here they both cool i don't want to be in it I, I, I like you i hang out with you boom i'll just never make y'all try to hang out or i'll try i'll never make sure i'll make sure y'all never cross paths basically hey. And our friends that's another thing side. crossing the path when you know you and jackie cool and so you will never let me and jackie cross paths no never so how you ever. feel about the people that do do that i feel like they messy i feel like they messy unless both parties are ready to get whatever they got going on what if both parties are mature enough to not even what do you mean care then let it be that. It's not even a problem then. But if they both care less to not to speak to each other or not speak up on each other, then that's that. That's where it needs to be. That's grown up stuff. Yep. Maturity. You feel me? Maturity. Oh my mama, that's just what it is. We just gonna agree to disagree. You feel me? Yep. That that we just gonna let it be that. Let yeah. the dust settle. Cause if nobody honestly, it only results in like emotional stress. All y'all gonna do is talk about each other. And there's nothing you can do about another person's life. It doesn't matter if another person ain't shit. It don't matter if they don't work they or if they baby. Do with you. It don't matter if they got shit going on in their relationship. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's none of your business at the end of the day. So what are you really talking about? So if y'all if if y'all really not finna get physical with each other, I right. feel like talking is nothing. Right. You know I mean? Talking is cheap. Back talk. So, like I said, we're all too grown for it. It's like it's quiet. No ain't no back talk. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I crazy. tried to hold it. I did. I did. I did. Uh, she's me. I'm okay, just I'm just. I'm done. We just we're done. done. We're done. Yeah. You know, thanks for listening, you guys. We love you guys. You guys can shout comment. out to the real fake Oprah. You feel me? How much she you charge here? Today? I'm here for it. How much you charge? Two hundred and fifty dollars an you hour, charge baby. Two fifty last you, time. And if you, I'm still charging two fifty because guess what? I got clients now. And even if you don't take a whole hour, it's still two fifty. Okay, we out of here, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>